What is going on, guys? Welcome back to episode two of Road to Sub Three on the Five by Five. If you guys were confused at uh, how I got so fast so quick on Three by Three, no, this is Sub Three minutes. I am not that good at all, but trying to get better. Again, comment your questions in the comments for the Q and A for next week or two weeks. I think I'm two weeks behind on these. Um, and then again, giving away the 21 by 21, uh, ending very, very soon. So go ahead and check that out in the description. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Q and a first question from Cubesticle saying, what is the most fun part about practicing cubing? Uh, to me, I think it's more of like a satisfaction thing. Um, and I almost feel like that's why, like I had the urge to solve the five by five. Like I felt like five by five would be more satisfying for me to solve. So now I'm on like a little, I guess, I, okay, let's, let's rewind a little bit. Everyone plays Minecraft like two weeks out of the year and then just doesn't touch it for the rest of the year, right? That's kind of like how it is for me on like different types of cubes. I'll play or I'll solve five by five for a few weeks and then maybe I'll solve seven by seven for a few weeks and then back to three by three. And I think it's more of what I perceive as the most satisfying is what I want to do. Um, so again, that's why I'm doing this series and it has been really refreshing, I'm not gonna lie. But to me, that is the most fun part about cubing, um, just kind of getting that satisfaction from what I feel like I would like to solve. Pat the Great 10 says, have you ever traveled internationally? Um, I have a few times, it's maybe been 10 or 15 years, but I ended up going to Mexico twice, which is a really cool place. I uh, highly recommend if you have not been yet or if you're not from there. Uh, really, really cool change from the United States, but I've never gone like overseas over to Europe or anything like that, but I plan to in the future, so I will keep you guys updated. That one, Cuber025 says three questions. Number one, do you think GAN or MoU is better for speed and control? I think you're kind of looking at two different demographics. GAN is better for speed. MoU, I think, is a hybrid between speed and control. Um, MoU is definitely not as fast as GAN, but I think MoU has a nice combination of the two. Question number two, other than 3x3, what is your second favorite WCA event? I absolutely love 7x7. Seven um, I love the even number, I'm sorry, the odd number big cubes, five by five, seven by seven, absolutely love them. Uh, question number three, would you consider making a custom creation cube, custom creator cube? Um, and I think I've talked about this in the past. I'm very, very, very slowly working with Speed Cube Shop to make an OV cube, uh, which is gonna be, I think it was the RS3M V5, um, custom tuned to what I typically do on that cube. But since my main has changed so many times this last year, I'm kind of holding off until I have a cube that I really, really like. Um, and then I'll probably have it turn into a creator cube here. Um, and we'll pause on the questions for a second. I am finishing up my first five by five solve. You guys have been very, very helpful on my road to sub 20 series on three by three, commenting um, ways that I can improve and get better at solving the cube. So if you guys see anything on the five by five that I could improve to help me get lower times, I am absolutely here for it. I'd love to hear it. Um, I do read every single comment. I don't respond to all of them as much as I used to, but if you leave a comment on one of these videos, I will definitely see it. So don't think you're going unnoticed. Um, definitely love seeing the critiques. I know there is some quicker way to uh, solve. I, I think it's the edges where you pair the edges in their spot to uh, basically set up your F2L. I've got no clue how to do that. I really, really, really tried to learn it and I could never figure it out. So if you guys have any good tutorials on how to do that, also let me know in the comments. Back to the questions though. That MoUcuber asks, do you have any pets? I do not personally have any pets, but my parents do have a pet. Uh, we've got a dog, ain't got a clue at what type of breed she is. We got her from eBay. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, no clue what she is, but she lives with my parents in another state, pretty far away. So I kind of have a pet. Uh, Rodrigo, 
I've said your name wrong so many times. He said just to call him Rodrigo, so we are going to be doing that. He says, do you think slide should be allowed? Uh, I have no clue what slide is, so somebody catch me up in the comments because I don't know what that is, um, but sure. Okay. Uh, do you think we should go to four pad? Um, this is something that I've kind of thought about in the past. I've been to a lot of cubing competitions. It's been around 10 years since I've been to one. Um, so don't get me wrong. It could have changed, but I think the rule back then was you just had to have something on the timer. So people would put their wrists or their forearms on the timer on two pad and have their hands like right up against the cube, not touching it, but right against the cube. So they don't have to like reach and then grab it. They can just grab the cube once they take their forearms off the timer. And this, I'm not gonna lie, this pissed me off as a kid uh, going to these competitions. Cause like, I'm all about doing it the fair way, doing it the honest way. And I do it the real way, right? And then I see people doing this and I was like, pretty frustrated about it. That rule could have changed um, over the last 10 years. You might have to like have officially like your fingertips on the timer. If that's the case, then four pad, there's no reason to have it. But if people are still doing the, like putting your wrists on the timer, um, then I definitely think four pad should be a thing. Uh, next question here coming from Rubik Cubic saying, what would your final goal for three by three be? Uh, meaning interior, inner achieving, if you want to be faster, sub 10, sub 15. I think sub 10 would be awesome. I feel like the improvement at that point is so slow to get any faster. Um, and sub 10 is extremely impressive to me. So I'd, if I get there one day, sub 10 would be awesome. Final question coming in here from Cubalytic. I think, I think it's Cubalytic. He says, did you go to college? Yes, I did go to college. I went to college for five years. I ended up getting a bachelor's in architecture, a master's in architecture, and then a minor in business management. Um, I've done a lot of years of college and I understand college is not for everybody, um, but for specialized fields like mine, it was definitely necessary. Um, if I could go back, would I go back to college? Yes, probably, but I know a lot of the younger kids, um, you know, money is tough right now. If it were me coming out of high school in this day and age, it would probably be best to like go into one of the trades, uh, like be an electrician or something. Um, but I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, you guys do what you would like to do. If you wanna hear more about uh, my college experience or anything, let me know in the comments. I can definitely talk more about it. With that being said, we are getting close to the end of the video. So I appreciate you guys if you made it to this point. Comment CS Timer if you made it to the end to confuse everybody else in the comments. I appreciate y'all for watching, sticking around, supporting this series, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.